Many users like to combine their use of RAW files with the perfectly clear Photoshop plugin. In order to do this, you'll need to open the RAW file using Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. This short tutorial will show you how. Before you can work with the RAW file, it needs to be interpreted as a high quality image that can be used inside of Photoshop. This task is handled by Adobe Camera Raw, a companion program to Photoshop. First, Open your image like any other. You can do this by choosing File Open or by using Adobe Bridge. Once you open the file, a preview image loads into the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. There are some essential options to choose to give the most information to perfectly clear. It's also essential to avoid applying any Photoshop adjustments that could damage the image. If available, Click the default button to avoid applying any basic adjustments. The only basic adjustments to consider is minimal use of the shadows and highlights sliders to recover any exposure problems with the raw file. You should also consider reducing the vibrance controls in Adobe Camera Raw and instead use the color controls in Perfectly Clear. It's important that you don't choose the auto correction method as this will provide Adobe corrections which could damage your photo and cause highlights to be lost, colors shifted, and depth distorted. We want to be sure to hand off a pure image for Perfectly Clear to perform its real color correction on. Be sure to leave the rest of the tabs at their default values. The Lens Correction tab in the Adobe Camera Raw dialog is the only exception. Consider using a lens profile to remove distortion and vignetting from the image. Some lenses automatically have the profile applied. For others, you could choose from the preset or use embedded metadata to detect it. You may also find the upright adjustment in the manual tab useful to compensate for distortion caused by the camera's position. Now, let's set the kind of file that will be generated from the raw image. Click the workflow options link at the bottom of the image and select the color space and bit depth. We recommend using the sRGB color space for the most consistent color workflow across displays. Also, choose 16 bits per channel so that Perfectly Clear has the most information to work with. We apply a special engine for 16-bit depth photos. It's also important to note that most monitors aren't capable of displaying all 16 bits of information. While we recommend sRGB, Perfectly Clear can work with all the supported color spaces, including Adobe RGB and Photo RGB. If you'd like to size the image while opening it, use the Image Sizing options in the Workflow Options dialog. This lets you choose a new dimension for the generated file. While the output sharpening is okay to use, Perfectly Clear also has precise sharpening controls that you can apply. One advanced option to preserve flexibility in processing the raw file is to use a smart object. This will also allow you to apply perfectly clear in a non-destructive manner. Simply choose the option Open in Photoshop as a smart object to add flexibility to your workflow. This makes it easy to reopen the perfectly clear dialog box and adjust controls to continue refining your image at any time. For more on smart objects, be sure to view the video called The Professional Smart Filter Workflow. When satisfied, Click OK to store the workflow options, and then click the Open Object button. Your 16-bit photo is loaded into Photoshop in the sRGB color space. Now, let's apply Perfectly Clear to the new image. Choose Filter, Athentech Imaging, Perfectly Clear version 2. Perfectly Clear goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. Select an appropriate preset or make any adjustments to your image. When you're satisfied with the enhanced image, click OK to process it. Because you're using a smart object workflow, you can easily make additional changes at any time. To refine the filter, just double click on the filter in the Layers panel. The previous state of the filter opens, but you can easily adjust the settings that you're using. If you need to adjust the original RAW file, simply double click its thumbnail in the Layers panel to re invoke the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. Make any of your changes, then click OK to close the RAW file and switch back to Photoshop. When it's time to save your opened and processed RAW file, you'll need to choose a new format. 
be sure to save the file as a Photoshop native document, a PSD file, or as a TIFF file to preserve the 16-bit working space. Both formats also support layers if working in a smart object workflow. So that's all there is to processing your raw images with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch the rest of our video tutorials to better understand all of your options. Thanks for watching.